guys, it's Jen here doing a Project Life process video for some December 2014 um, pictures. If you watched my videos last week, I found three weeks worth of spreads in a box when I moved my scrap room. And so I decided to just do those ones right away rather than um, catching up on my July and August weeks because, uh, yeah, these have been sitting in a box and they need to be done. So um, I already had the photos printed and I already had um, the papers that I was going to use. This is just scraps from a scrapbook kit, as I said in the other ones. And I even had a couple of embellishments tucked in. I had that 2015 and that Happy New Year flare and that, oh, sorry, and that uh, January piece already tucked in there. And sorry, that card um, kind of already got, it, I can't remember if it's just sitting there or I missed it. I've just been having some... Um, video issues. I kind of have um, a temporary setup right now for my video camera and so a couple times it shifted and I had to kind of delete footage and stuff. So, uh, But anyways, I was keeping all of these layouts quite simple uh, mostly because I just wanted to get them done and because I wanted to just use the scraps that I found in the box. So that is what I did. For that um, one photo that you see on the very bottom there, which is actually going to be the top, all I did is pulled out some white alphabet stickers and wrote tree lights on there. And then um, there's actually a layout that goes with that. Um, if you're familiar with the Vancouver area, uh, we went to the Capilano suspen Suspension Bridge. I can't talk. And they have lots of Christmas lights there. And um, you can walk up in their... Um, walk up in the trees there's like um, a skywalk and there's lights everywhere and there's like little displays and it was super cool we even saw an owl and um, they have the, my favorite part is there's this really cool pond and it was like almost impossible to get a photo of it it was so neat though they had all these like ball lights hanging over the pond and there was the reflection on the pond it was like magnificent like the whole, everybody there, like there's people talking and chatting and walking through the trees and walking over the suspension bridge, which is quite long. And then in that pond area, I swear it was much quieter. I think everybody was just like, wow. Yeah. So that was pretty cool. I'm really sad that we couldn't get a very good picture of that. Uh, so as I've been going away here, I just stuck down a text conversation. That's the um, middle far right one. Um that we had had was funny, so we would just um, taken a screenshot of it. Uh, there's a filler card there where I just use a chipboard piece. And then this card is actually a pullout card, and it's an accordion. Uh, so it's actually um, a piece of paper that is 12 inches wide and 4 inches high, and then I've scored it so it folds up into a 3 by 4 card. And what that is, is at the same place, um, there is this really cool big sign that shows the wingspans of different birds. So we were there with my two sons and then my niece and my nephew. So of course all four kids want to see what wingspan they compare to. So if you take a picture of one, you've got to take a picture of all of them. And so uh, what I did is I um, did it like this. So I just folded up this um, piece and used that and then I'm I did all of their pictures just slightly um, smaller than I think two inches high and then the three inches across just slightly smaller than that and then I'm sticking them um, all on there and I just put a piece of washi tape which I had used on that other card with the um, the screen capture of that text and then I just use that's a I think that's a Jenny Bolin punch little tab um, on the top and I think I put hold on I have it here I just put pull on it um, so that people knew that they could pull it out and that's me just going to town with this label punch uh, if you watched my other videos you'll know that I really like Chamel and I've been watching her project life catch up videos and she uses that punch a ton and so I had to buy it uh, but I lucked out and I got it off eBay um, because they didn't have it at Michael's which is my only local store and I got it actually for really cheap off of eBay. I was really excited. Even shipping it to Canada was still cheaper than most regular um, price punches at Michael's. Uh, so I'm just adding a few little bits and pieces. That little Tupperware container was just all the little bits left over from um, the cut apart sheets. There's an Evalicious cut apart sheet and then there was a Ellie Studio 
cut apart sheet and those are all the little bits that are left and so I'm just determined to use those up and then I punched out one of those bigger labels and I stuck that down and right at the very end there's a close-up of that little um, uh, accordion photo um, album thingy there I don't know that's not it's not really a photo album you know what I mean um, there's a close-up photo of that I pulled it out and took a picture uh, so this last one in the middle there is uh, just a group shot of all of us all bundled up and uh, yeah this is Vancouver so yeah bundled up is sort of relative but we're wearing warm coats and hats and mitts and stuff because it does get um, very damp here and um, the humidity even when it's above freezing it's when it's hovering close to freezing or just below with the damp it's it's really chilly like you I find that you feel it more um, we've lived up north in British Columbia and um, I so I can tell you with a surety you do not feel the dry cold the same the same temperatures do not feel the same so let me see here uh, so here is a photo of my husband and I after the same event uh, we were at a restaurant and the kids got these um, kids meals and they got these funny antler hats and um, after we had gone to do the lights uh, we went to have dinner afterwards and it was getting late by the time we kind of got out of there and drove back to where we were going to be and then there was no seating available for a while and we had to sit for a long time so it was late like really late for us to be eating dinner by the time we finally ate and you know when you get over hungry uh, you get a little and tired you get a little funny so yeah that was us just being silly um, with these hats and my husband put it on first just to be goofy and then because my husband did then they, my kids wanted me to and then my son is um, doing a little photo bomb in the background of mine which is hilarious as well I'd forgotten about that so it's kind of the one fun thing about scrapbooking photos way later is uh, remembering some of those fun things that happened so literally using up the little itty bitty scraps there just to add a little bit more interest on that card and um, this is my iris container insert that I keep in a drawer it's got lots of bits and that's um, a bead container that I got at Michael's that I have all my wood veneers in and I'm just finding you know random stuff to put on there so I found this wood I'm pretty sure that's Heidi Swap it certainly looks like Heidi Swap um, that hello and then sorry I'm just looking at my layout here that's beside me and then I'm going to pull out some alpha stickers and say put silly so it's going to read hello silly and then I also found that gray uh, flare and it says uh, true story with an arrow pointing down so I thought that was kind of funny and that's been in my stash for a long time so I was really happy to use it up so there's some red Kelly Perky stickers um, those she used to do stuff through Simon Says Stamp and um, I bought a whole bunch like all the different colors of those because they were quite cheap and they're a really good size for Project Life and unfortunately you can't get them anymore so I'll just use them up as I go sad here's a couple of the labels from that punch and these ones were ones that were punched already and sitting on the desk so I just grabbed them and wrote on there uh, pretty much what I told you just that we were super hungry and being silly so is this the last one I think so so this is a photo that I printed out with a bit of a frame on it and then when I was going through that iris container I found this wood veneer um, banners and those um, are from Scraptastic from a long time ago like probably October or November kit for 2014 at least uh, because I haven't um, gotten their kits in it probably almost a year now uh, but I know that that's where those were from I pulled out those same uh, Kelly Perky stickers with the red uh, that just kind of creates a bit of continuity in my layout pulling out the same ones and it says enjoy the and I'm just laying it right over top of those banners um, and I think it's fairly readable and then I'm using my tweezers here to put dot 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 and then what I'm going to do is um, use these wood green thickers that were also in that in my kit my pack of things and these would have been T totally awesome for the lifted um, layout that I did last Thursday I was looking for pretty much exactly those thickers but what are you gonna do right so here is uh, me showing you some close-ups 
And um, just to let you know, to make my album end nicely, what I did is I put this in a 12 by 12 paper, page protector that's all 4 by 6s So that's why I'm just showing you there. I've put them in like that and then I actually cut up a layout so that um, it would all fit and my uh, 2014 album would end nicely. So there's me just showing you that wingspan fold out again. Looks good. <laughs> I like how that turned out. It's really simple, but I thought it was kind of cool. I haven't done something like that in a long time in my project life. And then that's just all of us on New Year's Eve. Thanks for watching, guys. I've got some close-ups. I don't know what I was pointing for. Well, what am I doing? Ah, I'm showing you. There you go. So that is the canyon lights that we went to at the suspension bridge. So all of those are going to go in there. So close-ups are coming. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I will talk to you again soon.